Welcome back to another RCWorks video. Today we're going to be showing you how to test a relay which is commonly found in your submersible pump control box. Um, so let's go ahead and show you how to do that. Okay, so we're just going to jump into today's video. We've got two different relays we're going to show you how to test depending on the horsepower of your motor. You might have uh, the smaller QD style. So we've just got a QD control box here. We went ahead and pulled the leads off. Or you might have one of these larger relays here. Um, and actually, they're two completely different types of relays. So we're going to show you how to test both. Um, so we've got our meter set to the uh, ohms setting where we're going to be checking the resistance and it is the R times 1000 if you're following along with your meter. So we're going to first start by testing this one here. Um, and so we're going to test between number 5 and number 2. And what we're looking for here is a number on 120 volt systems between um, 0.7 and 1.5, I believe. And then on larger, uh, or sorry, on 230 volt systems, we're looking for a number between 4.5 and 7.0. So let's see what we get. 5.45-ish. Um, so we're right in the range. We know we're good there. Uh, so just remember that's between 5 and 2 and we're looking for that number. Now the next one we're gonna check is between two and, what is that, one? Yeah, two and one, which is this one here. Um, and what we're looking for here is about zero. So let's get on there. So zero it is. So we've successfully tested our relay. You may say, well, well that's really easy and that's because it is. Um, so on to the next one here. So we're going to test, these ones don't have numbers per se, so we've got a CAP, C-A-P written on here, a B written on here, and an L1 written on here. So the first thing we're going to want to check is CAP and B, and we're just, your meter should do nothing when you test that one. So we're good there. All right, and then the last one we're going to check here is going to be between B here and L1, and we're looking for zero. So just to recap again, nothing between B and CAP, and then between B and L1, zero. So that relay is also good. All right, so that's our video. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more great content, and don't forget to relay this video to your friends. We'll see you next time.